Lipids are essential cellular components, and their production and consumption needs a precise regulation. This balance in lipid metabolism, caused by genetic mutations or external factors such as diet or environment, can lead to many diseases. And the importance in humans is clearly demonstrated by disorders such as obesity and lipodystrophy. And in my research, I want to understand the role of lipids at the nuclear envelope. My name is Anna Romanowska, and I'm working at Max Perth's Labs, a joint venture between the Medical University of Vienna and the University of Vienna. I was born in Latvia and studied biology at the University of Latvia. And then I moved to Vienna for my master's studies and joined Alvin Kohler's lab as a PhD student in 2016. In our lab, we are interested in the architecture of the cell nucleus. The cell nucleus is the place where our genetic material is stored and protected. The nucleus is enclosed by two membranes the outer nuclear membrane and the inner nuclear membrane. These membranes are fused together at sites where the nuclear pore complexes are embedded. The outer nuclear membrane is continuous with the endoplasmic reticulum, which is the main site of lipid synthesis. And since lipids can diffuse within the membranes, it is generally assumed that the inner nuclear membrane passively receives lipids from the endoplasmic reticulum and the outer nuclear membrane, and therefore has a similar lipid composition. In this view, the inner nuclear membrane is not metabolically active, and in our research, we want to investigate the lipid composition at the inner nuclear membrane in order to test this long-standing assumption. In our study, we discovered a unique lipid composition and active lipid metabolism at the inner nuclear membrane. The strongest evidence of the metabolic activity of the inner nuclear membrane is its ability to form nuclear lipid droplets. These are organelles for neutral lipid storage. And previously, it was thought that they emerge only from the endoplasmic reticulum. However, we discovered a genetic circuit for the production of these nuclear lipid droplets. We showed that these nuclear lipid droplets are formed directly from the inner nuclear membrane and are connected to it by SAPIN-dependent membrane bridges. SAPIN is an important lipid droplet biogenesis factor, and mutations in SAPIN lead to the most severe lipodystrophy. And therefore, our findings have a relevance for human lipodystrophy, which is characterized by a severe loss of body fat. Our data shows that the inner nuclear membrane is a unique cellular membrane with its own lipid metabolism. Our findings assign new functions to the inner nuclear membrane. Currently, we want to understand how these nuclear lipid droplets are formed, which proteins are involved in this process, and what is the function of these nuclear lipid droplets. And this opens up a new field of investigation. For example, what is the role of lipid metabolism inside the nucleus and how it is related to human diseases?